10 failed New World Religions Modern Spiritualism Started in the mid-19th century, modern spiritualism grew rapidly. It was believed by many of the followers that that religion would become the world religion. You've had over 150 years. I think that's quite a failure. Freemasonry in various forms as loyalist societies, secretive societies in many nations believe that their influence would lead towards a united world religion. A new age, indeed they were saying as much by the early 20th century. This new age has not come into being. The esoteric movement, much like modern spiritualism, with a broader series of ideas, the esoteric movement contained many of the early channelers, stories of Atlantis, people such as Madame Blavatsky, Dion Fortune, and individuals such as Aleister Crowley. However, the movement didn't really go anywhere, although its influence continued and inspired much of the New Age movement. Thelema and Aleister Crowley. The famous occultist and mystic Aleister Crowley created the religion of Thelema. The religion itself was based on do what thou wilt, basically living your life to the full, living through your passions, through rituals and practices. And it was believed that that religion too would eventually become the world religion, surpassing the decadency, the failure of Christianity. As is clearly evident, Thelema did not become the new world religion, although some people still believe in the ideas of that particular religion. The cult of Shoko Asahara. Shoko Asahara was a gifted Buddhist, but a heavily manipulative individual who created the idea that the end of the world was due. He managed to convert a great many people by claiming to be a great and enlightened person. And he planned and carried out terrorist attacks in Japan, most notably the Serin gas attack on the Japanese underground. The members of the cult movement who carried out the act of terrorism believed that their actions would create a world-changing effect which would cause warfare around the world, the members of the cult becoming the new world order. Communism. Now I mention communism in general, but what I really mean is the various materialistic cults of communism. Not merely the political doctrine, but the branches of communism where it is no longer merely a political system, but a question of absolute devotion, of ultimate ideology and control. This is the case with Stalinism. This is the case with Maoism and with various other branches of communism. The belief is that through their efforts, the class system will be destroyed, that the party will do what's best for the sake of society and will eventually lead towards a utopia. Neo-paganism. The revival of ancient ideas, very often the interpretation of ancient ideas, the new interpreted view of ancient ideas where the old knowledge is lost and so neo-paganism in various forms is typically not actually what the ancient pagans believed, especially when it links into New Age. Many people have believed that it would become the major religion, that this will sweep the world and we'll live in peace and harmony, when in reality what you really have is the same old wishful thinking. The Charles Manson family, they believed that through their efforts they could create a war which would lead to the collapse of the government. And by killing some white people, rich white people, they could create a lot of animosity between black and white groups in America, causing there to be race riots which would eventually lead to the toppling of the white people, and that would lead towards the crumbling of the United States in favour of the dark people, and then Charles Manson and his group would eventually rule over them and all with a new order. Mormonism might well one day become a prominent force in the world. It's a rapidly growing religion, but it was believed deep in its past that it would become far more prominent far more quickly by the obvious truth of its words, by the truth of its prophet, by the validity of its claims. <laughs> it was believed that Mormonism would become the world religion, that Joseph Smith 
and those who followed him would lead the world into a new Mormon age. The only thing that Mormonism presently shows is if you preach something enough, there will be those who believe. If you preach to the world, if you send out your sons and daughters to mission to the world, you will convert people who don't know any better. New Age spiritualism, basically the idea of a revival. But the New Age movement basically has the idea, and has had the idea, that there would be an explosion in believers, in people becoming more aware, more open, more awake. And it's been stated by various experts, various channelers, where more and more people become awake, resonating with higher dimensions, their ability to communicate with otherworldly and other dimensional beings, telepathy, psychic skills, mediumship becoming more prominent. When they state a year, it comes and goes. The idea of ascension. Ah, nothing has physically happened, therefore it was a spiritual ascension and it's actually an awakening around the world to our greater purpose and spirituality. Do they have any evidence for this? No, but they feel it because they wish to feel it. A lot of people dabble, and that's where New Agers believe they're getting numbers. People will look around crystal shops, they might even buy a dream catcher, or might go and get a psychic reading. It doesn't mean they take on all the baggage, it means they see it as entertainment, not really going anywhere, not really progressing, but simply a curiosity. The utopian vision is wishful thinking at its best and its worst.